Okay guys, welcome to the channel. We're at Pleasant Valley Cemetery and it's in Franklin Township. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. And this is a Baptist cemetery. So, let's see what we got. This is gonna be a first one. It's gonna be, what, tennis? going to be Clark Christopher 1871 to 1935 and Gertrude 1975 to I mean 1875 to 19 then we have Graham James December the 19th 1846 to January 12 1927 in Amelia October the 14th 1850 to December the 17th 1920 then we have Mildred May Hess, April the 10th, 1922 to November the 28th, 1926. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have Liam. We have Amos, 1872 to 1945. And Nina, 1877 to 1936. Sorry about the wind and the road noise, guys. It's shaking. Don't leave nobody to one of them. So. Here's David. Kristen. Newmaker or something like that. There he is. Alright. See what we got here, guys. Then we have Light. We have Mary M. Light, 1870 to 1954. And Eleanor H. 1867 to 1955. Then we have James Powell, February the 2nd, 1854 to March the 14th, 1906. Then you have David, I don't know, Caldwell or something like that. Looks like 19, I mean uh, 1815 to 1890. Then you got Elizabeth, she's in the bushes. Right there's Elizabeth. She's one of the bush people. I don't know if she was before she got put in them, but she's in the bushes now. Then you have a youngin right here, 1863, I don't know who. Another youngin right here, rest in peace. Our next one. It's gonna be James Powell. He died November the 28th, 1858. On that one. And then this is Mary. She's the wife of James Powell. She died September the 28th, 1860. Then you have John Powell. He died May 14th, 1890. He was 84 years, 10 months, and nine days. Then you have Myers and Powell. He died 18. 86, 72 years, 5 months, and 11 days, and Mary Myers Powell, April the 10th, 1886, at the age of 81 years, I believe, on that stone right there. Then you have not better make this. This little stone. Then you have this one. This is a John. But I can't make out his last May the 5th, 1836, it looks like, 24 years on that one. Then you got Penelope. She's the daughter of J.J. Bryce or something like that. Died June the 1st, 1868, I want to say. 23 years, 3 months, 25 days. Then you have Jane. She died in 1832, it looks like down there. And then John. He died August 17th, 1853, at 77 years, one month, and, and nine days. And then another John uh, died in 1849 on him at 11 years, but I don't swear to it. There it is. Uh, let's move on back. Maybe we can hear it. Or 
least thing. We got all these. Oh, there's a different looking stone. All right, here's this one. They died in 1860. It's a Margaret, I think, on that stone right there. Then you got a cool looking one right here. That's got to belong to Robert. Robert Jump. And he died December the 20th, 1861, on this stone right here. Then we have a bunch of trees making a popping noise. I don't like that at all. Anyway, we're going to hurry up and get out of here. Here's that one. Can't read it anyways. We're going to hurry up and move out from under these trees. I don't like that sound. We do have some good wind. And there is a couple. Looks like it's thrown in the bushes. There's one right there. Then we got Lex, Jacob, 1865 to 1890, and Walter, 1889 to 1890. Then we have uh, Dishlong, uh, Lucy May, 1876 to 1966, and Henry, 1875 to Then we have, what, Schaffner, Susan C., 1861 to 1928, and David, 1860 to 1939, on that stone up there. Then you have Lehman, you have Fern, 1894 to 1988, and Walter, 1896 to 1949. Then you have Vera Clausen. 1923 to 1931, you have Ethel Dixon, Boston, 1983 to 1933. We have Arthur William, 1886 to 1967. Then you have Dixon, Dixon. you have Orville, 1878 to 1958, and then you have Ida or something like that, 1878 to 1947. Then you have Downs, Downs. You have Gladys, 1910 to 1975, and Carl, 1907 to 1958. Then you have Upridge, and one's under there. They died in 1923, 1861 to 1923. I can't tell who it is. I'm not going to stick my hand down on there. And then the other one's over here, and it's 1869, I believe, to 1934 on that one, on Cora. All right. Then we have Charles Braden, 1865 to 1932. Then we have one missing right there. Then we have Curie. We have Gloria, 1885 to 1963, and Ethel. Uh, 1891 to 1961. Then you have Whistler, Daniel, August 3rd, 1838 to March the 9th, 1904. Emmeline, Whistler, May the 7th, 1846 to March the 3rd, 1903. Then you have Shapner. You have Elmer E. Born April the 28th, 1871, and died July the 13th, 1999, on that stone right there. Then you have William Cow, 1848 to 1929, I mean 23. Then you have Martha Cow, 1840 to 1912. Then we have Bob. Estella, 1871 to 1956, and Darley, 1870 to 1958. And I don't know what the bottom says. Then we have, let me go ahead and get these two. Bogs again, we have Paul W. April 21st, 1905 to February the 1961. We have Mary Beth, uh, Bryce, or Boyce? Boyce. 
1942 to 1937 on that one. Then we have an infant daughter of A&L and Alice Martin, September the 9th, 1897. We have Sarah Duncan, 1865 and seven years, 29 days. And then we have somebody else right there. And I'm gonna move out from these three guys. Got that. 1833 to August 31st, 1935. This one died in 1865. It's a Joel Runkins, Runkins, or something like that. Died April 22nd. He was 35 years, 3 months, and 15 days. Then we have, this is a veteran, both of them are Civil War veterans. This is Chester something. Died February the 5th, 1865, 21 years, 1, one month, and 5 days. And then, this is the wife of Benedict, died May the 29th, 1890, at the age of 82 years, 3 months, and 12 days. Then you have Sarah Benedict, March the 22nd, 1889, at 90 years and 5 months. And then we have Wilson, the son of S and Ellen H. Benedict, died May the 14th, 1890, at 47 years, 8 months, and 10 days. Alright, now we don't have to worry about the tree. All right. Then we have. Oh, I didn't get those. Oh, I missed some. Trying to worry about the getting out of from under the tree, and I missed a few. All right. I got this one. I can't really tell nothing about it since they died in 1873. So there it is. Then we have two lambs on this one. I've never seen one with two lambs on it. Right here. I can't read it, but there it is. All right. Then we have this one. I can't tell much about it. Well, this is Williams. Ona Gay, 1897 to 1995. Lester, 1893 to 1974. Then we have till we meet again, John R. Garson, 1936 to 1992. Then we have Mother Helen Lynn Garson, August 27, 1901 to June 3, 1970. And love and memory of James Harold Garson, 1934 to 1955. And love and memory of Marvin Lynn Garson, 1933 to 2019. All right. Whew. Then we are. Sonona Davison, 1939 to 1940, and these I really couldn't read. And we done them, okay. I gotta go over here in the bushes on this one. We've got more bush people. Need more bush people. Yeah, got more bush people. Stupid phone. Mary Graham, 1842 to 1916. This is going to be a Christopher Alexander, I think. No, it ain't either. Graham. January 29th, 1865. On him. And it's going to be Jemina or something like that. Uh, something to J.C. Granham. Died February the 23rd, 1851. At 38 years, I think. Either 38 years or 58 years. Two months and 11 days. Then we have W. M. Short, died January the 13th, 1853, at 25 years, one month, and three days. Then you got Samuel Granham, died March the 10th, 1886, at 72 years, one month, and 20 days, on that stone right here. And then you got Rachel, she's the wife of S. Grand. Ham and she died January the 28th, 1894, at the age of 80 years, two months, and 16 days. Right there. Then we got a beautiful old stone right here. And it's going to be Kelsa, the wife of Isaac Wright, uh, our boys. Died October the 30th, 1872, at the age of 55 years and eight months. And Isaiah, 1814 to 1900. 
Let's see if anybody else is on there. Uh, nope, don't look like it. All right, let's move on. Then we have Boggs. We have James, August 29th, 1840 to September the 19th, 1887. And Christian, June the 28th, 1846 to February 21st, 1919. Let's see if anybody's on the back end. There's not. All right. Then we have John D. Dickinson, May the 9th, 1843 to August 13th, 1904. He's a Civil War veteran. Then you have Rachel Starr Dickinson, December the 14th, 1852 to March the 18th, 1930. They're at rest. Then we have a child or infant. Their base is over here and the stone's over there. I think we might try to pick that up and move it. It's not that heavy. So let's see if we can move it. Uh, uh. There it is, guys. We moved it from over here about two and a half feet and put it back over there. So we fixed one today. There we go. All right, let's move on. It is hot. Did I tell you it was hot today? It's hot. Then we have Tooker. Charles A. Tooker, 1861 to 1928, and uh, Amira, 1861 to uh, 1907, Tooker. It's the last name, Tooker. Then we have Durbin Speck, I think. William, 1857 to 1930, and Laura, 1863 to 1942. Then this one here, I don't know who it is. But they're a sleeping Jesus. They died July the 24th, 1891 at the age of 10 years and 8 days. Rest in peace, young man. Then we have Luella Tooker. June the 7th, 1865. October the 27th, 1883. Then we have a child or an infant again. They died in 18, looks like 60. This one died in 1876. I can't make the name out on either one of them, but there they are. Then we have George Tooker. And he died, uh, was born May the 15th, 1833, and died June the 14th, 1915. Martha A. Tooker is his wife, and she was born in April the 15th, 1839, and she died December the 26th, 1877. Hey, then we got a Jones. We got John Jones. He died February the 18th, 1872. He was 88 years, 10 months, and 26 days. Then we have, I have no idea on this one, but there they are. All right. And they're a Civil War veteran too, whoever that was. Then we got one here missing. Then we got another one missing right here. Then we got, I don't know what in the world going on right there. A stone busted all the pieces and way down in the dirt. Extremely way down in the dirt. Right there, they've been running over it. Don't know if the Baptists care about their people either. Here's Clyde Cider, uh, 1900 to 1904. Here's Dallas, 1908 to 1910, rest in peace. Here's Mary Ruth, 1914 to 1917, rest in peace, children, little ones. Then we have Cider again. We have Jenny Lynn, 1876 to 1961, and Roy Hobart, uh, 1875 to 1954. And we got to catch this row here. We missed these. Uh, it's going to be Lehman. It's going to be Faye, 1901 to 1971, and Merle, 1898 to. 1973. This one's going to be a Civil War veteran. I can't read it. But there it is. Alright. Then there's our next one. It's going to be Lynn. It's going to be S. Claude, 1878 to 1960, and Pearl, 1880 to 1934. And it's going to be Roy Bryce Lynn, 
A beloved husband and father, December the 6th, 1906, November the 21st, 1961. Yet thou, thy smile be lost to sight, to the memory thou art dear. Mary L. McAfee, Mac 1925 to 1992. Then we have Gri Grizzly J. Lynn, died September, I mean not September, February the 21st, 1906. He was 82 years. Then we have a bunch of weeds. And then we have William J. Lynn, 1851 to 1934, and Kirza, 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 his wife, 1853 to 1920, and Mary F., 1868 to 1891. And then we have somebody in the bushes, another bush people. There's some bush people here. I don't know who they are. I'm trying to find a way into them. Excuse me. Right here, guys. They died in 1851. I don't know who it is, but there it is. All right. Whew. So, got two more rows. Well, two and a half. All right, let's finish this thing up. Get out of this heat. This is Roger Moses. He died August the 4th, 1853. He was 85 years, six months, and three days. Then we have Boyce again. We have Howard, 1880 to 1960, and Marit, 1884 to 1963. Then we have Mac Fracker, or McFrackles, or something like that. Died August the 19th, 1840, is when he was born. He died September the 22nd, 1884. He was that's 44 years, and I can't tell nothing else about that. But here's a civil war veteran. This is Mary. It's the wife of M.G. Frackler. Died February the 11th, 1878. She was 25 years, 8 months, and 25 days. Then we got J, D, and M. boys. Something about January, I don't know, 1876. There it is, guys. Then we have Sarah. She's the wife of, I have no earthly idea. Anyway, she died January 27th, my birthday. 1822 or 72, you better judge. I'm gonna say 72. Then we have Ma Margaret, she's the wife of J.D. Boyce. Died uh, maybe April the 13th, 1862. At 33 years, eight months and three days, what I'm gonna say on that one. Then we got John D. Boyce. He died March the 3rd, 1898, at 77 years and one day. Nancy A., his wife, J.D. Boyce, died on April the 19th, 1902. She was 67 years and nine months and one day. He is a Civil War veteran. Then we have uh, Lou Wallace or something like that. Died October the 15th, 1898, age of 68 years, 11 months, and 9 days. Then we have Sarah Wallace, 1831 to 1910, on that star right there. Then we have Bell, Belly or something like that. Belly. Bella. Or something. Anyway, this is a wife of D&E Cunningham. Died December 28, 1893, 27 years, 6 months, 28 days. Anna, their daughter, died December 28, 1893, at the age of 6 months and 7 days. That's sad. Rest in peace, little one. Then we have Lou, or D, or whatever his name was. He died in 18... I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure exactly what that is, guys. I can't make it out. But there it is. All right, let's see who else we got. Woo, hot. Did I tell you it's just hot out here today? It is. This is Peggy Castleberry, 1828 to 1943, I think. 
1928 to 1943, I think. I'm not sure. I can't really see it. You be the judge. Then this is Elsie Garhart. It looks like 1908 to 1973. Then we have Clyde Castleberry, 1909 to 1979. Oh, that tree don't sound good at all. Then we have Sheriff Oli, 1888 to 1967. Lorenza, 1880 to 1951. And Bertha. 1887 to 1923 on that stone. Right there. Then we have a veteran with just a stone marking him. Right here. And then we have a footstone saying RW, I mean RM. Then we have fire. It's going to be Margaret Fire. September the 10th, 1921 to May the 27th, 1992. Elda, Eldon, I mean, May the 9th, 1921 to July the 3rd, 1986. Then we got Breeves, or Breeves. That's going to be right here. It's going to be Courtney H. 1900 to 1927 is the only stone that's with it. All right. Then I gotta take a get a breather. These are some big old trees. Anyways, let's finish this thing up. Then we have Fern and Mary. That's probably two children that passed. Then we have somebody here. I can't tell out tell who. I mean, looks like they died in 1819 or 49. And the other one died October 29th, 1912 or 42. I don't know. You be the judge of that. This one died in 35 or 85, I mean. 85. Isaac, I think. And Mary, his wife, died in 1942. She was born in 59. And Daniel was born December 29th, 1896 and died September 13th, 1984. That's all that's on that stone, guys. Then we have Simpson. We have John, 1872 to 1949, and Eva, 1888 to 1973. All right, guys, that's going to end it here at the Baptist Cemetery. Leave me a like and a comment of what you think about this place. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe if you're not to the channel. We check out all kinds of crazy cemeteries and small ones, big ones, little ones. I don't care what it is. We'll check it out. We'll go on property. I mean, private property as well as public. They can just come and tell me to leave. But yeah. Anyways, we try to get what we can of them. I show you it's exactly what I see. I don't sugarcoat nothing. And I don't know any of these people or anything about any of these people in here. I don't research the cemeteries. I just pull in and start recording. So, anyways, please sure like subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm out of here.